We had a new poll this week, a New York Times CBS poll, gives us perhaps a clearer picture of who supports the Tea Party movement. Byron, tell us about that. Well, I think they're pretty happy with it, the Tea Party leaders, in the sense that I think it shows uh, Tea Party uh, supporters to be basically within the hash marks of American politics. They're just kind of uh, in in the mainstream. I actually covered the Tea Party demonstration uh, here in Washington yesterday, and, I, and all of the events that I've covered with them have, have – um, have confirmed basically what this poll says, which says basically I think they're about 18 percent. The, the, the Times found about 18 percent of the country considers themselves supporters of the Tea Parties. Uh, they're mostly Republicans. They're uh, a little older. They're white. Uh, and uh, however, they I mean they share the economic anxieties of the rest of the country. They're afraid of losing their jobs. They're afraid of losing their health insurance in some cases. And um, so they, they are a remarkably sort of normal slice of the American political spectrum. E.J. I think what this poll shows is that these are right-wing Republicans. They are good old garden variety right-wing Republicans. They are older, they're more male, they are white, they are relatively affluent. If these guys are populists, they are very well-educated, well-heeled uh, <laughs> populists, which I think gives a lie to the notion that this is a populist movement. And to me, it raises it also, they are, um, you know, Byron said mainstream, and I guess it's all in the eye of the beholder. I see this poll showing them well to the right of the American mainstream. One question in the poll, do you think it's a good idea or a bad idea to raise income taxes on households that make more than 250000 a year? 54% of all of us say yes. Only 17 percent of the Tea Partiers say yes. They are more opposed to government action in all areas. They are a, something we've had in America for ever, which is a strong anti-government right. Now, does that mean they don't? Of course, they deserve press coverage like everyone else. But I think the media have just blown this up into something brand new when it is, in fact, just very conservative Republicans who would never vote Democratic. The only political significance, I think, is that the right is more mobilized right now than the left. So the Republicans are more mobilized than the Democrats. Uh, but we knew that, and the Democrats have a lot of work to do. But I think this should give people in the media pause in trying to invent this group as some brand new thing. It's just new anger because Democrats are in power. Somebody that is rising up. But they don't appear to be an uprising. Judging from this poll, I I thought that the most interesting thing about them was the sort of common or garden variety thing, that they are comfortable. They're financially comfortable. They don't. Uh, they they appear to be doing very well, and they all say that they feel fine about their personal incomes. Their personal economy is working, uh, and and the fact that they're mostly male and almost all white, uh, also you know tells you something. Now, I thought in the very beginning of this that uh, that what we might be looking at was a uh, had a racial component that these were a group of people that were, you know, just completely undone by the notion that all of a sudden the United States had a black president. But looking at the poll, I think I'm wrong about that. I think that what we're looking at, as E.J. says, is a group of people that we've known about for a very long time, who've always been there, who've who represent a, uh, a very conservative view of government. And, uh, and they rise up whenever activist government is in charge, which is the case now. See, I think you were right in the first place. Actually, this poll does show a racial component. It doesn't show everything is race. It doesn't explain all opposition to Obama. Very interesting question. In recent years, do you think too much has been made of the problems facing black people? Too little has been made, or is it about right? 28% of all Americans say too much. 52% of the Tea Partiers say too much. Again, that doesn't prove that I'm not saying these are all racists or anything like that. But I think we have to face up to the fact that in the set of reasons, at a moment when we seem to be rediscovering nullification and states' rights and Confederate, uh, you know, Confederate veterans, there is a racial component to this. It's not all of it, but it's an important piece.